So I want to start first with the fact that um, there's only two men that have wins more than you in the lightweight division, which is Champ Michael Chandler and Patricio Pitbull. So I'm curious if, knowing that, do you have that the idea that you know maybe even if you don't have a title, you're already kind of a champion because you're up there with those two big names in Bellator. I wouldn't say that. You know, I wouldn't say that. You're not you're not the champ until until you beat the champ, no matter who the champ is at the time. Mm -hmm. So you know, until they give me that title fight and I, I win the belt and I take it home and I show my kids, then uh, then I'll call myself champ. And is there something you think that you have to do on Friday night to maybe get that title shot, or is that something that you're even thinking about right now? Um, I'm not really thinking about title fight, you know. Uh, every time I think about it, it kind of goes out the window. You know, they throw curveballs, random people get title fights. So I'm, I'm not thinking about that. I think if I just go out and give a performance like I did my last performance, but this time get the win, and you know, hopefully get a finish as well. I think uh, I'm just gonna ask whoever. I'm gonna say whoever whoever's next in line. I'm gonna ask whoever that person is and just keep taking them out. So speaking of that, um, Pitbull is off doing the featherweight tournament, and he's you know scheduled already for March for the next featherweight fight, which means that at least until you know past that, they're going to have a, a lightweight title. Do you think that they should have an interim champion in the meantime? Is that something you think that it warrants for this situation? Uh, yeah, especially if uh, if I'm one of the guys that's in 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 line for it. Yeah, uh, I definitely think so. I don't think they should put the division on hold for a year. You know, uh, they did it last time when uh, Primus was hurt and everybody was waiting around and, you know, shit went to, you know, who knows where it went. But, you know, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think they should hold it up. And if you were to fight for an interim title and win that interim title, would you feel like a champ then? Or would you still feel like you'd need to fight whoever held the, the undisputed title at that point? You know what, the belts change their hands so many times. You know what I mean? Right now we have a 45er that's the champ. You know, in my eyes, you know, Chandler was always a champ, but, you know, not always, but he's been the champ, the reigning champ for a while. And, um, you know, he lost it. So now we have a 45er. So, I mean, let's say they put it back up and whoever gets it, that, I think that person's a champ because the belt changes so many times that any given day anybody could be a champion. So just because the title holder doesn't have it at that time and they give an interim belt, I think that's, you know, on him. You know, he should have defended it. And, you know, you're coming off two losses, but there are two losses that really, you know, if you, if you look at the fight and you watch the fight, that's one of those situations where either one of you guys could have won. And does that make the loss feel a little bit easier to take, or does that actually kind of make it harder to take? Well, you know, I'm not too worried about it. It's, um, I, don't, I didn't lose my last fight. You know, I don't think I lost my last fight. So, uh, so, so I'm looking at it, you know, this is a new fight. I mean, of course, coming off losses, you always want to, you know, it, you know, you, you want that monkey off your back. So, but right now it's fight week. I'm just focused on my fight. And uh, once I get past it, you can ask me that question again. Let's see how I feel. Awesome. And what did you learn from that fight? You say you you felt like you didn't lose. So did you feel like you learned something? Oh, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. You know, uh, when your will is strong to win, uh, you know, you keep going no matter how tired you are, how beat up you are. I mean, you can't see, you can't breathe. Uh, you know, when you're not thinking straight, that as long as you're will, you have the will to win, you can keep going. Now looking ahead to your opponent now, uh, what are the strengths and weaknesses that you found in his game? I think he's pretty well-rounded. You know, he's, he's obviously a good jiu-jitsu guy. Um, I think uh, he's a decent striker. Um, I think uh, uh, his, I don't know, I mean, he's, I think he's well-rounded. I mean, I just got to fight my fight and fight smart. And I noticed in another interview you mentioned that you want to try and keep the fight on, on your feet. Um, is that still your goal? I mean, I wouldn't say it's my goal. I mean, I, I like to knock people out, so you know, I don't I have no problem hitting the ground. Uh, if we hit the ground, I, I'm pretty good at the ground, and I think uh, my scrambling, my jiu-jitsu, my wrestling will hold up against his. So um, I don't mind. If we hit the ground, we hit the ground. If we hit to stand on our feet, you know, it's, I think it will favor me. So I would like to keep it on my feet. And what is it about this matchup that intrigued you to want to take it? Uh, he's one of the top guys, you know, uh, in the division. So uh, I know he hadn't fought in a while. And I, I wanted to fight the top guys to get my name back in the mix, you know, coming off of, you know, the loss or two losses. So um, it just came it just came out, and sure enough, that was, you know, he was the one. And do you have a prediction for us? And I know you say, you know, you feel like you can take it either way, but do you have a, an idea how you're seeing it, visualizing it? Just, I just I'm going to smash him. I'm going I'm to step on the gas pedal, and I'm not going to let go until, until the fight's done. Awesome, thank you. Yep, thank you. Let me just get a couple.